Okay, let's fix up the order total so it actually is accurate. We're going to add a total price computed property uh, to our application. And then that's going to calculate internally the total values for the order they've placed, plus their tip, and then return the amount back to show in that text area. And so here in checkout view, I'm going to say there is a new property, var total price, we'll return a string. Inside here, we're going to use a uh, number formatter, which is from uh, foundation, old school stuff. We'll set this thing to have a number style of dot currency, because money we're handling. For our total, we'll get first the double value of our order total, like this, integer otherwise. Then get the tip value to equal to total divided by 100 multiplied by the double of a uh, tip amount, like that. So we now know uh, the tip value here. And now we'll say return uh, formatter dot string from, and this is going to be an NS number because uh, number formatter is quite old. Uh, we'll do NS number the value of total plus tip value, nil coalescing, uh, zero. So if we fail somehow, send back zero dollars. So that's the value you want to show. So uh, create a formatter that does currency, uh, get a double of our total value, calculate the tip value, add total to tip to know how much the total value of the check is, and then format that as a string, a current string. If that fails for any reason, send back uh, $0. Now, remember, uh, SwiftUI is going to reinvoke the body property every time any of our state changes. So any of these things that change here, it'll reinvoke the body property and recalculate that. As a result, um, we can use this computed property, uh, total price, inside our body. So whenever they change a the tip, which is marked as at state, up here, it will recalculate the body, which will recalculate total price and show the correct price in here. So we'll keep it up to date. So down here it says total $100. I'm going to instead say total string interpolation total price. Like that. And hopefully, let's press our command R and see how that looks. It should all work very nicely. Let's find out. Build and run, if we're lucky. Come on, next code, you can do it. So I'm going to add, uh, let's do a pepperoni pizza this time. Order this, go to the order screen, press place order. So it's $16.10. As I increase that, $16.80, $17.50, or $14 exactly. Uh, so yes, it all works very nicely, thanks to number formatter.